The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're adding some disrespect to our master bus with Waves plugins. When I master my song, I like to combine a variety of parallel processes to bring out what I'm looking for in the track that wasn't there in the mix. And the quickest way to pull up an entire chain of parallel processes is an Ableton audio effect rack. And the preset that I'm going to use is Waves Master Sauce available at wholeloops.com. And what this is, is a chain of about eight different Waves plugins, all sequenced together or beside one another as parallel processes, and then consolidated down into eight simple macro controls, which are the most important things that you're gonna wanna go to when you master your song. The first thing I'm gonna do is bypass this and take a listen to the example. Yeah, I'm okay. And now let's engage the sauce. So the first control that I like to grab is the input gain, and this controls how hard we're hitting all of the rest of the plugins. And to decide whether or not I want to boost this up from a neutral position, which is 12 o'clock, or decrease it or increase it, really determines on what my signal is looking like with the whole chain bypass. So let's take a look from the loudest part. So we're close to the top, but we're not clipping, which means we got some room to hit this thing a little bit harder. The next thing that we could do is add some drive to our mix, and this becomes really useful if what you're mastering does not already have a lot of distortion in the mix. If you're already dealing with a heavily distorted pre-master, this may not be the knob for you, but since this song sounds really clean, it leaves a wonderful opportunity to go and add a little bit of disrespect here on the master. And also the harder you hit the input gain, the harder you're gonna be hitting the drive on it. So you can also decrease the distortion. If you find that the drive's not even up and you're hearing distortion, then that means that you have to turn your input down. The next thing that I'm gonna that I'm gonna to wanna to boost up is some parallel compression. And that's what's going on here with the glue. So let's go to a quieter part of the song. But I only miss you a little bit. Let's expand this track and do a little bit of automation. I think I want to use the glue so that this part of the song does not feel like it got lost in comparison to the rest of the mix. But I only miss you a little bit. Actually, we'll keep this up in the second verse so it doesn't feel like it loses steam. But this is a nice trick to help the intro not feel quite as loud as the chorus of your song. And that's a really important thing to help the song feel like it grows dynamically, to not quite push it so hard. So this glue knob is definitely one of the things that I like to pull down to help create an effect that the next part is even bigger than it actually is. And let's do that same trick right here too. But I only miss you a little bit. Here we have the dynamics control and this is attached to the threshold on the final limiter. 
if you have a lot of space to boost your mix, you'll be able to pull this down and squash the dynamics of your song. But if you're running something that's already been clipped and distorted, again, just like the drive knob, you're gonna have to keep this pretty close to the top because you're probably already hitting the limiter. <laughs> Do you suffer from weak mastering? Do your mixes sound like they belong in the trash bin playlist? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Waves Master Sauce, our most powerful sauce preset ever. Finish your music today with Waves Master Sauce, only at holoops.com. But let's continue through the rest of these knobs. The next thing we have is the balance of our low end. And this isn't just a low shelf and that you're boosting or reducing. This is actually pushing the presence of the lows forward using harmonic excitement. <laughs> And again, this depends on how well you balance the low end of your mix will determine how much you would like to make up for it here on your master bus. The next thing that we have is highs. This is a parallel chain of isolated and parallel compressed high frequencies that you're adding in beside your clean signal. So let's go to the hook of our song again. <laughs> Summer Halfway sounds pretty nice to me. Next knob we have is Sauce, which is easy to confuse with highs because this also deals with presence, but this more is presence in the upper mids rather than presence in the very, very top sparkly part of your mix. Let's take a listen to the verse. Caught in love, it was foolish, I know. Looking back, and the truth is, I could never hate you. This is a very handy knob if you're putting this on a printed mix where you can't really control the balance of the voice and the music. This sauce knob will bring the voice out wonderfully. It'll also bring out anything else in the upper mids, but if you mixed your song well, your voice should be sitting in the upper mids pretty well by itself already. And this plugin will have no problem going in there and bringing that out. But I only miss you a little bit. And finally, we have our transients control. And when you use a limiter, one of the inevitable natures of limiting is that it cuts off your transients and reduces the volume of your entire mix when the loud part hits. And that's not what you want when you spent a lot of time designing and shaping your transients. So what we have here to use beside your limiter is an additional parallel transient shaper. And again, if you don't want it at all, you could just pull this down and you may find that as your mix plays, this brings out some of the clarity and punch of your drums. Let's try and make it more of an even volume comparison. I may grab this sauce control 
and bring it down a little bit during the hook. I don't think that part needs to be quite as bright and shiny. Right there. And we can just delete this and finish it out like that. Perfect. So as you can see, we're only making small adjustments that yield a very large difference in the impact of our mix. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you found some new ways to add some disrespect to your mixes. And if you want to check out Waves Master Sauce, I'll put a link in the description and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.